Today's the day we find out who killed Sonic the Hedgehog. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kid, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We have more investigating to do, and we're getting to the bottom of this. Who killed Sonic? We need to find out, and we're going to the casino car. This is our first time here. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rogue, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. <laughs> All right. Apparently, we have a lot to say to her. Also, I'm going to keep calling her Rogue, even though it might actually be pronounced Rouge. Don't care. We visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I hate talking like Rogue. Also worth mentioning, still kind of sick. You can probably tell I'm uh, I'm a little congested, but uh, we'll get through it. It'll be great. I want to find out who killed Sonic. And I see you've brought the microwave master with you. It's me. I'm the microwave master. Uh, please don't let that be my legacy. <laughs> Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rogue, we're gonna need the help. Blaze? All right. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's part of her character profile. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rogue. All right. Well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. If you guys are unfamiliar, Fabergé eggs are like those eggs that have like jewels and they're like super like sparkly and stuff. Uh, but this is a chow egg, you know, like a Sonic, this thing. This thing is a chow, right? I didn't realize chows were, were born from eggs. Now I know. Wow, that does sound extravagant. Please don't tell me the only reason you're here is to find that egg. Oh no, oh no. I, I still feel like maybe she's playing her part, but also like isn't Rogue like supposed to be a thief in, in like the real games? I don't know that much about her. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here in this train car locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rogue? Uh, well, why don't you both take a look? What? It's a blueprint? I found the train's blueprint in the library car with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. Now we just need to find the safe. I'm invested. I want to find this egg. Train's blueprints. Please, Rogue, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh. Finders keepers, sweetheart. Again, I, I hate talking like Rogue. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Okay, we're, we're reading into it a little too far, I would say. Kian, do you have an opinion on this? No, I do not. Can I say just, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five finger discount. I say we, uh, we go along with it. And if, you know, if we help them and befriend them, then maybe they'll help us with our investigation. Yeah, well, I suppose if both Blaze and Kian are in, okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. Something about saying Fabergé chow egg is kind of hard to say. Haha, <laughs> that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Okay, we're planning. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? It's Ocean's Eleven, but it's Sonic's Five or Four. There's four of us. I can't count. Access to the Fabergé chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard, distract. Let's use passive, distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> I appreciate that. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Kian, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. You embarrassed me, Rogue, what can I say? Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. 
If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs to work. Yeah, I'm not good at this. I feel like this this character who I'm playing as in the game is kind of a lot like me. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? I feel like Rogue would be good at distracting. Of course, I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Aw, oh, man. All right, so I picked wrong. Okay, so who's distracting? Um, not Tails. We need his brains. How about Blaze? A princess. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Wow. She's serious. Her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Well, I trust her, moving on. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck, push a bunch of poker chips to the floor, ask the chow about their partner and kids. I love the idea of a chow, like, pulling out his wallet, and then he's got, like, a hundred pictures of his family in there. Let's go with that, just because it sounds funny. Yeah, look, look, that's exactly what I just described. Excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will easily distract the guard. <laughs> Perfect. I think we can move on then. With the guard distracted, Rogue, how will you get access to the card? Or get ex- whatever. We get it. I can't read. Grab them and fly up to the rafters. Ask for the card. Pick their pocket. Hmm. I say pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rogue. Try not to take anything else from them. If you can help it, no promises. All right. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Kian, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. <laughs> Chaos. Push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. I'm gonna go with something really mundane. Say there's a drink without a coaster. I feel like this chow takes his job very seriously. And he's gonna fix it. Let's go with this. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Well, I'm glad that I can think of such awful things. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside, we celebratory dance. I mean, that does sound pretty good. Pop some apple cider or sing victory a cappella. I say, I say dance. We dance. Now that's a proper victory. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? That's terrifying. High five each of them. Have tails disable them. Tie them into one big knot. All of these sound great. I feel like, ah, man, let's try the high five. Maybe robot hands really just need a high five every once in a while. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't giving away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. That's so good. All right. I don't think my hands would survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. Okay. I'm glad they all humored my suggestion. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? Have tails disable them. Yeah, he's a smart guy. I should be able to disengage them. I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no. Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Uh, cry and hope. They sympathize. That's not gonna happen. The robots. Imagine you're not in pain. I don't know about that one. Pretend there's nothing wrong. That, you know? Maybe? I don't know. Cause like, they're supposed to... Maybe, maybe this... Nah, let's pretend there's nothing wrong. Tails managed to do it. Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. Hey, there you go. Okay, we figured it out. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I've already forgotten the plan, but I'm excited. Oh, we, we got in, right? Like, we went through the plan. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. Okay, so we just fast forwarded through everything that we just did, and we did it. Also, it's kind of crazy that we're on a train, and it has all of this, like elevators and security rooms and vaults and stuff. That's quite the elaborate train. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. Let's do it. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Wait, are there other things that I can interact with here? I mean, that's a really big vault, but we're going for the safe. I want to click on this vault. Let's see, just what could they possibly be storing in all these? This is the casino card. I suppose it's all expensive gems and gold. Maybe rings too? Rings? 
You can find those lying about in the grass. That's of no interest to us. It's true. Sonic's world is just full of rings. All right, let's get that Fabergé egg. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rogue. Oh, it's a Fabergé chow egg. It's here. All right. This is very, very pretty. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Oh, no. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Does it crack open? Rogue, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. Oh my gosh. You can open the egg. <laughs> and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Uh, I'm kind of scared. She's opening it. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. This Fabergé chow egg is a bomb. Rogue, has no one lived to tell the se egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're onto something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. <laughs> we need to dispose of the egg. Throw it back in the safe. What? Throw it back in the safe. I have a great idea. What do we do with the bomb? Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Uh, twist the egg again. Throw the lock in. The throw it and lock it in the safe. Quick, put the egg back, Rogue. Okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open. Well, I close the door and twist the dial. Obviously, I am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to relock the door? We got to think of something else. Uh, eat the egg. I love that. Take one for the team. <laughs> Just sacrifice myself. Everybody go. It's been wonderful knowing you. No, I'm not sacrificing. Open it up to see if there's wires to cut. Kind of smash the egg. Have the have Blaze set the egg on fire? What? Let Tails cool it down with his tail. Stomp on the egg. Rock the egg to sleep. Let's do it. Rock the egg to sleep. So you think this egg is just cranky and needs a nap? Yes. I have toddlers, and they're basically bombs. And all they need is a nap sometimes. Everyone's always mad at this. <laughs> okay, yeah. I uh, Let it finish ticking and see what happens. I love this. We're all gonna just blow up together. Let's do it. Are you insane? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. We need to dispose of the bomb key, and that is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Yeah? Kian, I think you're onto something. Huh? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just Espio did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. What did he say? What efficient, extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? The robotic <laughs> arms. So if it is a bomb, they would they would be protecting us. Right? They can detect weapons or explosives. Yes! Yes! So it's not a bomb. Those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either, unless he's a bad guy. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Kind of crazy, but I like it. Let's wait and possibly all blow up together. The egg, it opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. <laughs> we're not dead. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Oh, so confident. And look what's inside. It's a baby chow that sparkles. That is some serious bling. The final secret to the Fabergé chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? <laughs> Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Do you, do you, I don't know. Because they weren't as tough as us. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. All right. As much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. We've learned nothing about the murder of Sonic, though. So hopefully we can maybe talk to them. Like now that we've helped them, they'll be a little bit more willing to help us get more information. Whatever. No one seems to suspect anything. And the security guard is back at their post. Hope they subdued the drink coaster. Fiend, okay. Yeah, what a monster. Thank you for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do it again. 
Now, Rogue, she's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. Hey, we helped. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. Kind of rude, honestly, but I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. All right, yeah, okay. Well, we'll get out of your way for now then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Yeah, kind of forgot about that, didn't we? Uh, before you go, Shadow gave me and Rogue one of these. He passed through earlier, a shadow key. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. Okay. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rogue, but we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. All right, let's go to the next car. The mystery continues. Let's do this. But, well, actually, I haven't really looked around here. What, what, what's going on with these, these slot machines? Yes, let's play the slots. I lost. Okay. Move on. Ready to get going? Let's go find Shadow. Is this like the lounge? Yes, it is. The lounge car. I love the chow, the chow band. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. All right. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I, no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Oh, thank you. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Uh, I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. Appointment? Well, Keen, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. That's what we do. It's been a little bit since we investigated, being that we've just been like robbing secret Fabergé eggs. So let's get back to what we do best. What's going on with this thing? Kian, could you open the wardrobe, please? Yes, yes, I can. Is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. All right, fine, I'll do it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of no wardrobe. Ah! Huh. It's just dust the deadliest of enemies. Especially when you have a cold. Man, this is the worst. Anyways. All this dust, you opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? Do you see this? A pull string? It's gotta activate something, I just did it. What? The back of the wardrobe just opened. There's a full passageway back here. Okay, we have to see where this leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. It leads back to the library. Interesting, so someone can sneak around. Okay, so we're gonna go back through. Holy cow, that's, uh, that's an interesting finding. We need to add that to our inventory, hidden passage. So there's a direct passage from this room into the library. How that plays a part, I don't really know, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> hey, robotic arm, can you give me a high five? It doesn't seem to be listening to you, but I can give you a high five. Yeah, high five with tails. Let's check out the band. Hey, it's the big chow band. Play us a ditty. That was a ditty, if I've ever heard one. They don't miss. True. Let's check out the back door here. Kian, we can't move until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I was getting a bit ahead of myself. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I just wanted to see what was going on over there. We got a computer. Oh, I see keys over here too. Okay, they told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely, seems convenient. It is, a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, trash can, what's going on with trash? No, Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every time. Every trash bin has been empty, Kian, and you've been disappointed every time. No, I'm telling you, this is the one. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Kian? Possibly. There's always something in the trash bin. 
All right, let's check the trash bin. <gasps> ha ha! A crumpled up piece of paper. No, it's actually someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Let's add it to our inventory. Interesting. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Check the printer. What's going on with the printer? Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Uh, Sonic singing a song. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Yeah, it's Sonic rocking out. There you go. That's exactly what I asked for. <laughs> uh, I'll quietly set this back on the printer. What's going on with this thing? We got keys. A key ring must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting, there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch, but he hasn't he been like handing them out like candy? We're gonna take those two keys. And now we have enough clues to interrogate Shadow. Don't look at me like that, Shadow. He's so grumpy. Why did you come over here? He's, he's basically emo Sonic, right? Like that's what Shadow is. Anyways, there's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Kian, we certainly will not. All right, we're gonna interrogate him. Let's do it. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Like, what is this? Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train and, and I know why. Oh, okay, Amy. Busting into our interrogation. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Ha <laughs> ha, time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. Oh, we're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? Yes, I'm following. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. But Sonic's body was found in the, in the, the, like, food car. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll just let her continue her deduction here. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Okay. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. Okay, so she has a little bit more information than us. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was dead! Uh, because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Uh, rec reckless speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? See? That- see? Exactly. I think Kian and I can explain the car change, however. Oh, uh, we can? <laughs> oh, the uh, the secret route. Kian, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Um, the keys? No, the secret passage. This one. Okay, just, just get my thoughts in order. We're doing this. It's Sonic time. What would Sonic do? He would run and, and get rings. That's what he would do. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this, so... Uh, this is kind of a warm-up round here for me. Oh gosh, we've got flashes of light falling from the sky. Awesome. No, that's great. That's great news for, for me. Holy cow. I need more rings. I, I don't need any more rings. I just need to keep the ones that I have. But man, these like comets are, uh, are coming down pretty quick. I'm, I'm concerned. Kian and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage! So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Kian. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. This adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Hmm. 
Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am. But of course, this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Solid work, Amy. Solid work. Ha! Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. Mm, feeling pretty good about ourselves, aren't we? If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Huh? Huh? I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Kian, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Espio was reading and Vector was with Knuckles, playing the arcade, right? And Espio was in that little nook, remember? So, Vec yeah, Vector was with Knuckles. That's true. Vector was with Knuckles and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. What? A revelation. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one at suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? It must be his lore. Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Kian and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can? <laughs> Kian, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The, the key ring, he only has two keys left. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order, it's Sonic time. Rings. Give me all the rings. I need 60 rings? Are you serious? All right. Something tells me there's going to be a lot more comets falling from the sky here at any moment, and I don't love that. Okay, I, I hate that. That was awful. Oh, gosh. Okay, yep. Nope, we're good. We're good. We have enough keys or rings. Okay. Whew. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys on the key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Aha! Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth, then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think he is. I think. Kian and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. <laughs> all right, well, I'm glad that Tails is better at this than I am. Why does he keep including me? <laughs> First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a present? Oh, most everyone, yeah, everyone's been so sweet. Just um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay, just them being here is enough. Okay, so they're up to something. They're, they're gonna give Amy a present or something. I, I don't know. Yes, I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key, except for you, me, and Amy. Amy didn't need a key, because she has the master key. So why would he lock all the doors and give us a key? And not give us a key? He wanted to keep us away. Or he couldn't find? No, he could have found us. He wanted to keep us away. Let's go with that. He wasn't trying to keep us away. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. Kian, show me evidence. Huh? <laughs> do we have evidence of this? What proof do you have? Okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away because he's trying to keep a secret present from her. Um... Sonic and Shat- wait, okay. He bought her tickets to that band that she really likes. That's what the crumpled up ticket was. Oh my gosh, we're getting- we're getting to the bottom of this. So Shadow is actually trying to surprise Amy with a present. I got it! He's not murdering Sonic! He's just trying to give Amy a surprise. And we made it through the- the gauntlet. You went rooting through the trash? 
Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! Oh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is, oh, my favorite. He is, Jeremy B is great. All the members have B after their name. Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. He doesn't want us to reveal his present. The printout of the Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. Yep, that's it. Shadow, is this true? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. We kind of blew it and I feel a little bad, but it's better than thinking that Shadow is a murderer. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging on the website, did you print the homepage by accident? <laughs> Shadow's not very good with computers. Yeah, he seems like the type. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder, yeah, she must feel pretty bad. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Uh, sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? Yep. Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out and telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here. It's because she has the mega key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. <laughs> I love how matter-of-fact Shadow is. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. <laughs> Shadow at, like, a K-pop concert. I love it. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. All right, seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. So who was your source? My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. You're washed, Amy. You're washed. You're not welcome here anymore. No, I, 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 she's fine. Amy, I am curious. Who is the source for your uh, big scoop? Yeah, let's find out. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate the last area. I get we're, we're getting to the end. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Key and I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. <laughs> I really want to find out what is going on here. Let's go to the conductor's car. Let's finish this. It's now or never. All right. Ooh. Things seem a little off. What's going on with the spilled drink? I guess we'll find out. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Time to investigate. Let's crack on. Okay, broken arm. What's going on with that? This robot arm has been completely torn off. Ooh, that arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Broken robot arm added to our inventory. Uh, we got a picture of the conductor. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time after 32 years. He told me he's finally retiring. One day from retirement. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> What's going on with the spilled drink? Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, 
Wife by your side, paradise. Okay, that must be the conductors. All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. Adorable. We got some uh, loudspeakers. A microphone, we can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing? If you can hear this, your armpits stink. That seems like the appropriate thing to say. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry to inform you. I am talking to you right now. Your armpits stink. My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. Uh, I'm, sh I'm sure they are tails was just being silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. They're so serious. Whoa! What is this? Was someone playing darts? It's a dart. Is it a poison dart? That's not throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon into this train. That, but you can't. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons. Let's make note of this. The conductor's up to no good. Or someone who's pretending to be the conductor is up to no good. I don't know. Vent. A vent. It's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Because he can fly. Because Tails can fly. I, uh, the, the Tails, right, yeah. <laughs> That's embarrassing. And then we got the front uh, console here. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, so why do you even need a conductor? But they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Okay, well, that answers my question. Did they teach you how to drive it? Uh, no, <laughs> just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. I actually, yeah, I would trust tr Tails to drive the train. I, I kind of agree. You could drive this train flawlessly. Man, everybody has so much confidence in Tails. I, I, I do too. Oh, <gasps> the trash can. We've got this screen too. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. No real good information from the screen. Let's check the trash can. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to tr check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's all right. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Kian, ready to solve this case? I think we've done everything we can. I don't know who did it, but... Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Please report to the conductor car at once. Okay, so we're gathering everybody together to figure out if we can figure this out. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Kian. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Uh, cause he's <gasps> dead. He dead. Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight. The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities. I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBL. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. <laughs> But on this train, I am but a humble poet, and we did learn that his poetry is truly life-changing, is, is beautiful. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. That would be so cool. Escape room on a train? I've done an escape room once, and I was terrible at it, for the record. Oh, what's happening? What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? I mean, Sonic ain't moving. He's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic. What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? The blow dart, he's he's paralyzed. Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there is a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Okay, those are some pretty severe allegations there, Amy. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? She mad. This is inexcusable, Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. 
I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Holy cow, Amy is not happy. He really was hurt the whole time and did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Key, and I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't think I don't think it's anybody. I I really have no idea. I'm I'm going to say Tails cuz that is the most like out of left field. There's no way. But I'm going to accuse Tails. So stupid. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I can be the murderer. Oh, that's right. Let me pick again. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's not Tails or Amy. Is it Rogue? We didn't get a whole lot of info out of Rogue. But you know what? Let's see. Hmm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, well, um, <laughs> I don't know. Just, just a guess. Is there anything else I can click on? I mean, Espio? Vector? Vector seems too dumb. <laughs> Sorry, Vector. Hmm, I don't see it. It's, it's not Vector. It's, I... Knuckles? No. Espio. 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 You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it is a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. Yes, I'm accusing Espio. He's the only one that Shadow didn't see. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. The secret passage. Kian, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. Hmm, little convenient. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think Ian and I can explain that too. How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? A ninja like him speed reads. Yup. Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. Very clever. Very clever indeed. That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> That's kind of messed up, Espio. If I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. You're a ninja. That's what you do. You do hidden passages. That's right. How would Espio even know it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Kian and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, Kian. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Who was in the lounge? No, Shadow didn't know about the lounge. Vector, right? Vector. That wasn't who you had in mind? They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Oh, Amy's uh, confidential informant, right? No, okay, I'm stupid. Is it Rogue? Rogue, okay. She has the blueprints. Haha, <laughs> yes, I totally remembered that. Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasure. Came up cold. You can have it. Okay, now we have the blueprints. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw the blueprints? Rogue had them. Well, Kian, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rogue did, because he's a ninja. Rogue, where did you find the blueprints? The library car. How convenient. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. 
In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprint and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, blow dart. The logistics are still vague, but Keen and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Keen and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blow dart. Boom. Okay, now to form my argument. This is it. This is the moment. We're getting to the bottom of this. Oh my goodness. I, I hope that we're like on the right track and not falsely accusing Espio. I, I think Espio seems like a, a good candidate, but he also seems like a kind of kind of cool guy, you know? And I, I feel a little bit bad if, if, you know, I'm completely wrong about it. everything. What? That was just rude. Okay, so when the ground crumbles right in front of our faces, uh, we have to hit the uh, the jump pads. Otherwise, we are dead. All right, we did it. And I don't have enough rings. How are you supposed to get enough rings? I was six short? That's a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try again. We'll get this, we'll get there. I need a lot more rings than this. No, I missed the jump pad, I'm so bad. Okay, okay, here we go, we got it. Oh, <laughs> this is the moment, this is it. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure, he's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. It's probably just like cosmetics. It's, it's fake, maybe? According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? That is a good point. But Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Ken and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? The map, maybe? The blueprint? Let's look at the blueprint. All right, now what's my argument? Maybe there's more secret passages. That's that's what I'm thinking. But we gotta get through this whole situation first. <laughs> and of course, the ground is crumbling before us. Awesome. Oh my goodness, this is... There's so much going on. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Hit the... Ooh, baby! That was terrifying. Managed to live, though. <gasps> Ooh, uh, uh, aha! I'm the best. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor car, the vent, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. Ha <laughs> ha! The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back there and a track. A track? A track for robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car? Yes, and I think you use the robot arms to do that. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer, my name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? I, I think it's the arm. I think we're on the right track but we do have to survive this. And these are getting a lot harder. It's okay, it's okay. I know what's coming. We got crumbling floors, no problem. Lots of rings. Jump, ooh! Ooh! Oh my gosh, there's just too much going on. I, I can't, I can't make sense of it all. I gotta jump over these ninja stars. Ah! Okay, we're almost there. Oh, we did it. I just need to not die. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we survived that. Woo! Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of these robot arms was a casualty. 
But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Ah! Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Oh. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily. But if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. The conductor? The conductor. Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? It was Amy, because Espio was her uh, informant, right? Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you tell us where that hot scoop came from. You're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my surprise. Ah, he's sweating. He's sweating. No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these doors locked. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, SPO. The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? And now you're lying to me? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. You gotta make it, I mean, we're wrapping this thing up. You gotta make it sound convincing. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. Espio! You got, you gotta do the point. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sonic's waking up. Oh, he's not dead. That's great news. Hey, Sonic. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sonic, you're okay. Oh. And just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Sonic's gonna fill us in. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great. I could use a nap. No, wait. There's something important. And then Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. What? Seriously? Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. This is a tiny animal. Robotnik. Eggman. There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. See, there is more going on here. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from SBO. SBO left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop. What are you doing? The, the, they took the conductor. That's why he's missing. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. That's where he spin dash broke one of the arms. He did that all while he was poisoned, but another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Holy cow. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Yeah, SBO, it went a little too hard, dude. I was just following the rules. See? Use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. This was a setup. 
this is this is Robotnik's doing, or Eggman. See, what is that? It says use the blow dart. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Kian, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed SBO the blow dart? The train itself. The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a batnik and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? Yeah, if, if Dr. Eggman's behind it. I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train, come out and show yourself. Guess that's one way to handle it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy, this train can have it. They're all just beating up the walls. What was that? Oh no. Oh, it's mad. We've made the train mad. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Oh no. Here, I can get him down. He's one day from retirement. Don't hurt him. He's going on vacation with his wife. We need to save the conductor. <laughs> of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little games to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base where you will rot. Okay, this train is scary. Eggman! After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress, annoying, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Ha 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 Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. We need to get out of here. Ugh. My head. Tails? Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are, are you okay? Hanging in there, it seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? <gasps> I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. All right. Let's let's uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, one of these robotics arms is here. It swiped at me. Okay. So the train's still trying to murder us. What about these screens? That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Oh, no. Eggman. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ah, uh -huh, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Rude. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman Land, these problems would need sorting out. Eggman Land. This guy's insane. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spheres, it's science. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase, where are our friends? <sighs> Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. It seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill the Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. Alright, so this train has a mind of its own. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creature gets a generous reward. 
What is that reward? What does a robot want? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train, oh, it wants the, the conductor, because the conductor is its best friend. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposefully had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time, we were all in danger, and I went along with it. I'm so bad at my job. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor has been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey, I can tell this situation's getting to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. All right, thanks, Sonic. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Okay, let's keep moving forward and make things right. Needed a cough drop, but that's okay. We're getting to the bottom of this. We got to get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? <laughs> Believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Sonic doing his Sonic thing, blasting through doors. Wow, with one big wind up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Ha! Now that the road's cleared, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Let's go. Oh, I'm actually Sonic now. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door too. Okay, ready? Let's do this. All right, we're, this is it. I love the, the, the Sonic model that we have because we're like Captain Sonic. That's so cool. I'm not doing a great job though. I'm not making Sonic proud. I'm making Sonic very sad right now. Oh gosh. Okay, no, we have enough. We have enough. Just enough. Let's go. Door number one. What's up, Knuckles? Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Oh, do, does does Knuckles join me now? No, Knuckles doesn't join me. All right, that's fine. Whatever. I don't need you anyways, Knuckles. Oh, man. The ninja stars are killing me. Literally. Oh, oh, I almost got the, the little capsule. This is fine. I have enough rings. I'm good. Another door. Blast it. Boom. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move on. The train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is get off this stupid train. Let's go. Okay, 60 rings. Let's do this. We got this. We got this all day. We can so do this. Okay. So far, nothing's really happening. So that has me a little concerned. Because I feel like something's going to happen. Mm, beautiful. I have enough rings now. All right, we did it again. Blast another door. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. Let's boogie. All right. 65 rings. We're almost there. We're saving uh, Shadow, right? And Amy. Or is Amy still in the conductor car? She's probably still in the conductor car. Right? Just gotta get the rings that we need. We're almost there. Oh, that one hurt. My pride, mostly. Oh, no. Just need three more. We got it. We got it. Okay, just don't get hit. <laughs> okay. All right. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor's car. Oh, I forgot about Tails. My bad. Say no more. Let's go. 55 rings. We can do this. We're almost there. And we're doing it. There you go. Blasting through. Sonic! Sonic, you're here. Time to finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another Death Egg. Don't turn us into robots. 
Oh, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I will turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. That sounds awful. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Ugh, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Oh, okay, okay. So is this actually it? I got I got robot arms busted through the floor. This is nuts. Oh my gosh. I love the music though. It's very good. Okay, okay, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're getting through this. Oh my gosh, there's so many arms. That was a little scary. Not gonna lie. I have enough rings. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave me like this? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. This robot is way too crazy for its own good. Oh my gosh. Did you see that dodge? That was nuts. Can't believe I survived that. Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to focus here. I'm not saying much, but I'm, I'm getting there. Ugh! Holy cow. Whew. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. This train is freaking me out. Why would he betray me? Uh, he didn't. He just wants to go on vacation with his wife. He's worked hard for 32 years. Train? Just let him have a day, man. Oh, I'm dead. Well, the train took over and we were never seen again. It's okay. We get another try. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. This, this is getting absolutely just crazy. There's too much going on. The, the floors are getting blown up. Robot arms busting out of the ground. It's terrifying. Okay, okay. All was there. Just, just a few more rings, too. Okay, we got enough rings. Just don't get hit. That's it. Conductor! You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Unhand him. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. It's kind of sad. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. We're at the front of the train, so I assume that we're getting very close. Oh my gosh, we're fighting in the train. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, okay. We're literally fighting a robot train right now. This is probably the craziest premise for a video game, but I love it. I love it. I'm fighting a robot train, whatever. He's shooting lasers at me. I'm not scared. I'm just getting my rings. I'm living my best life. I'm Sonic. I'm doing it. I did it. Take down that train. Boom. Can we do it again? Can we hit him again? Was that enough? Little, little bird just running. A flicky. This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad dick. The stakes rise every second. We gotta save him. Save that little bird. We're gonna defeat this train with the power of friendship. And it's gonna be beautiful. I just, I just need some rings. That's all. I just need more rings. Oh my gosh, that's so many hands. I didn't know what to do there. I was, I was panicking and for kind of good reason. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost. Okay, I got enough rings. Just, oh my gosh. There's so much happening on the screen right now. I'm getting overwhelmed. A hundred rings. We did it. Oh. Blast them again. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How dare you? Oh my gosh, it needs more! There's still more! Oh, um, I'm, I'm dead, dude. I'm not gonna survive this. 
No, believe in yourself. We have the power of friendship, remember? Oh my gosh! My brain is going to melt. I I can't I can't keep up with it. I I if we survive this, you guys have seen a miracle happen. I think we're gonna survive this. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh the final hit? Was that the final hit? No, no, no! I'll grab the flicky. Get him, SBO. Save the bird. You've saved the bird. You're awesome. It's over. Time to pay. <laughs> Amy just destroyed that train with the power of love. She's getting blasted away. Sonic's gonna catch her. It's a beautiful end. To a absolutely insane day. The train, it's slowing down. Great hit, Amy. It was pretty great, wasn't it? Uh, train, you're not looking so good. I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the tr trouble. It's kind of sad. The train's dead. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. I love how she's like so like nonchalant about it. But the conductor's going to be kind of sad. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful friendship. Oh my gosh, the trade. <laughs> Definitely seen better days. We did it. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. The universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog murder is officially over. We've done it. We've survived. We fought a literal train. I'm exhausted. I'm going to actually miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Beautiful. He can finally retire. Happy first day of retirement, dear. That's beautiful. He's more than ready to begin his retirement. I'm happy for them both. We even saved the little flicky. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be. You were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. <laughs> Seriously, a dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This this group is is kind of insane. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Yeah, let's go eat. I'm hungry. Where'd Sonic go? He got a cake! Eat up, everybody! A happy ending. I'm, I'm very happy. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but I wouldn't have traded these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. Well said, Amy. Well said. Over to Robotnik's command center. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry. <laughs> Sour choice, your evilness. Shut it. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Oh, and now I get to choose how my how the rest of my story plays out. So I continued working on the train and then I practice my singing. Yeah, let's go with that. One million's in the lottery seems pretty cool too, though. Practice my singing, and after all that, uh, managed to fly to space. Yep, that's just been my life. Pretty boring, all things said, but uh, there it is. The murder of Sonic. Spoiler, he's not dead.